So it's very interesting that he says he came because of his father, and Tony Stark goes, I've never heard of him before. And he goes, my father is the reason you're alive. Now, can the devil make that statement? No, no, no. he cannot, right? In fact, the very reason all life exists is because God allows it, right? Satan wants to destroy it all. Right? And he says to Tony Stark, you come from a th family of thieves and murderers, right? You can't, you can't make that comment towards God. He's not a thief, right? The devil's known as the thief. So there's some imagery here that really he, he has uh, um, some sort of Christianity in sort of a twisted, bent way. He wears a Maltese cross. He has these whips, and he looks like he's been whipped himself. White bird on his, his name shoulder. is, yeah, white bird on his shoulder, <laughs> right? Very interesting, kind Long of like hair. the Holy Spirit, right? Long hair. I mean, there's some parallels here that are very strange. <laughs> Now, John 8.44 says, You belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning. So they're twisting your idea and perception of who's who in the story. Um, but listen to how Tony Stark gets psychologically analyzed and listen to how they describe him. He's reading his analyzation of himself. Mr. Stark displays textbook narcissism. So he displays textbook narcissism, right? Mm. You can't attribute that to God. No. God is so right. others focused. In fact, he loved the world so much, he gave his son to die for those that don't even care about him, right? The opposite of narcissism. It's the devil that's narcissistic. So let's talk about Iron Man 3. In the storyline of Iron Man 3, and when they play the trailers for you, they don't show you exactly who the bad guy is. So they set it up that this particular character that Ben Kingsley played is the bad guy. And so the voice that you hear